Welcome back, it's Doug MPA. Now I've done multiple videos about what it's like for men to work with women in an all female workplace. I'll put links to those videos in the description so you can check them out. Why a man would choose to work in a female dominated industry in 2024, I have no idea why. Guys, if you can avoid working in a female dominated industry, nonprofits, teaching, nursing, avoid at all costs, because if you make the decision to do that, it's a lifelong of pain, drama, misery. Don't do it, you guys. Women always talk about the, the biases against women in the workplace, but never talk about the biases against men. I found this article that says, the hidden bias against male teachers, and this guy, Steve Singer, is gonna tell us all about the, the, these biases. It's real. So we're going to get into this article. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe, drop a comment. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And and first off, I would never be a teacher ever. And those who choose to be teachers, men, I give you all the credit in the world. One thing my father taught me was any person that would do something that you don't want to do, give them respect. So all you male teachers out there, you are needed. You are appreciate it and you have to deal with this every single day i don't know how you do it it says no one wants to be a disciplinarian not at the expense of being a teacher often you need to do the one so you can do the other after all it's difficult to teach a class that can't listen or sit or refrain from arguing but that's the role that men are often given in the field of public education we're the disciplinarians especially of male students we're consistently given more students with perceived behavioral issues with more histories of suspensions and we're given less administrative support than female teachers. It's not fair at all. There it is. Men are perceived as, as mentally stronger disciplinarians can lay down the law. So a lot of female teachers, and administrators dump the troubled kids off on the men. And only 23% of teachers are men. So these men will, will have 20, 30 student classrooms will, with the most problematic children in the school or in the district. It says, um, many of these kids are suffering from poverty, malnutrition, or trauma. Putting them in a room with a male authority figure cannot solve all their problems, yet that's what happens more often than not. Male teachers are not seen as teachers first and foremost. We're the enforcers of school rules, and it's driving so many of us from the field of discouraging even more from entering it in the first place. And that's 100% true, guys. 100% true. When the going gets tough, a lot of female teachers go to find a male teacher. Pull him out of his classroom. Interrupt his workflow. His teaching to get him to, to handle it. Yet these women are strong and independent, don't need a man. Men are toxic and they would choose the bear. Yeah, well, why don't you have the bear teaching in some of these classrooms, ladies? How about that? According to the National Center for Education Statistics, 77% of public school teachers were female and 23% were male in 2021, the most, the most recent year for which there is data. It's worse at, at the elementary school level where only about 1 in 10 teachers, 11% are male. Oh my goodness. Jesus H. Christ. However, things are not much better at the secondary level where less than 4 out of 10 teachers are male. And these statistics have remained roughly the same for at least a decade. It's not true just in the United States. Around the world, men are underrepresented, especially in the elementary school education workforce. So much so that a 2017 article in the Economics of Education Review wondered, are male teachers headed for extinction? The, uh, extinction. The 50-year decline of male teachers in Australia. And that doesn't su surprise me, guys, because Australia is a feminist wasteland, a misandrous hellscape, Australia. So all my Australian brothers listening, I salute you guys. Have fun down there. Good luck. I've seen s some of the, of the news clips and articles out of, out of Australia and some of the policies they're trying to pass. No thanks. 
This has been an academic and social impact on male students who look to male teachers as role models. Without a positive male influence in the classroom, boys tend to see education as distinctly feminine and either out of reach for them or something that they should not even be trying to accomplish. Moreover, male teachers demonstrate ways that men can interact in a nonviolent way, especially towards women. Their very presence can can promote a, a new conception of masculinity that is gender equitable and solves problems through reason, argument, and team building. Guys, women honestly think that a young man is going to see a successful woman and say, hey, I want to be like um, uh, cackling Kamala when I grow up. I want to be like Stacey Abrams when I grow up. It's not going to happen. You want to know why? Because boys instinctively know that we have to protect women. If we have any of these strong and powerful women, it, if she's a CEO, a police officer, a politician, if we're all on a boat and the boat is sinking and there's only one spot left, the woman gets to go and all the rest have to try to figure it out and not drown. Boys are not going to look, look up to a, a, a strong woman and be like, I want to be like that woman someday. It's just not going to happen. Is, um, not to mention that the idea of male teachers as being primarily disciplinarians has no basis in fact. It is a gender stereotype as much as women being more nurturing and suited to, to healthcare. See, see, uh, I would disagree. Men are more likely to be disciplinarians because we are more logical. And we know what works. We know that a man's presence makes sense in the disciplinary of of, of all children, whether it be a male or a, a female student. In the field of education, it only sets up expectations that men should be sent more with students with behavioral issues and that their natural maleness will somehow bring about a, a solution. And guys, add to that, whenever something heavy needs to be lifted, a male teacher has to do it. Whenever there's some kind of labor, they find a male teacher to, to do it. Anything physical, they get a male teacher to do it. You get voluntold. Tell me I'm lying, you guys. And this is in all workplaces. I, I, I was reading this article. I might have to do a, a video on it where, where male nurses have to move patients more than female nurses do. They always find a, a male nurse to, to help. Um, physically move a patient that isn't even their patient. Such attitudes are harmful to, to male teachers' careers. After all, too firm a focus on student discipline reduces teachers' job satisfaction and the likelihood that educators will stay in the field until retirement. Student misbehavior is a main source of teacher stress and burnout, but administrators give them fewer honors courses and fill their classes with more difficult students, it creates a more hostile work environment for them and thus increases turnover. 100% true. Even expectation... And, and before uh, I continue, the administrators are women. So, this inherent bias is on the top down. The, the top down. So this is happening sy systemically, you guys. For, uh, even expectations for male teachers' own behaviors are different. While female teachers can be expected to have a variety of personas, men are expected to be strict rule followers who will not let students get away with anything, and any deviation from this ex expectation can result in negative evaluations and lower administrative reviews. The result is lower job satisfaction. Male teachers can feel frustrated due to so much of their time having to focus on disciplinary issues and so little of it being able to focus on uh, instruction. This is especially true in districts where principals, deans, and others do not properly support classroom disciplinary decisions uh, because most of them are all women. When a classroom teacher sends a student to the office after numerous redirections and finds that the the student is sent back almost immediately with only a warning, it can be incredibly demoralizing, as if the teacher is incapable of, of a warning himself. Numerous steps have already been taken to correct the behavior before it was sent to the next step for, for higher education or, or, or for discipline. Then there's the issue of being an effective teacher. 
When there's little time for being anything but a disciplinarian, much instruction is lost. So many male teachers feel ineffective and are judged as being ineffective because of circumstances beyond their control. They were not set up for success, but blamed for the situation that they were given. And this results in higher turnover. And this has become especially true with that whole no child left behind thing where all children should be given the same chance at education even if they're special needs even if they have behavioral problems even if they're freaking criminals and like this article is saying all these children with the worst problems are dumped on the male teachers it's not their responsibility in mass to take on this burden this broach in the subject feels like whining. Black teachers, especially black male teachers, experience the same problem to an even greater degree. And women teachers experience their own type of bias and sexism. However, none of that erases the unfairness male teachers endure often in silence until they've had enough and slink away from a career they once cherished like the sun itself. This is another example where like oh what about women and women teachers yeah but what about men talking about male issues does not take away the um the resources on female issues men have problems in the workplace in society in personal relationships and most of the time if noah is going to help us with our problems we're just going to walk away think about it guys women don't perceive men as having problems uh, uh, uh in the workplace getting jobs any of that. So what are we doing? We're, we're just walking away. It's not working. W women don't perceive men as having problems in, in a sexual dynamics and relationships and marriage. So men just aren't getting married in a way, uh, anymore. And there's MGTOW now. And now women don't think that men have problems with teaching. So men just aren't going to become teachers anymore. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video. Subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.